Drumsticks and dishwashers. Let's talk about it. Got an idea for a little two-part uh, mini-series, if you will. Um, and out here currently walking the property. Um, we're going to get back here. Hopefully we're not going to get bit by anything or run into, run into anything. I'll stumble across something. Um, so, man, right out there, as uh, many of you are aware of, um, looking out at, at the location of the future of the Quest Church, man, we're believing that in less than three years, uh, man, we're going to see uh, the Quest Church right out there. And I'm fortunate enough to uh, be living on this property. Many of you guys know that Tina and I and, and the kids moved out here uh, just, just a couple of weeks ago, actually. And so um, I'm feeling very fortunate that I get to... Uh, that, that I get to every morning, you know, wake up to this and, and have an opportunity to, to step out onto the church's property, what we're calling our promised land and, and pray, uh, and, and just ask God to, to continue to move the way he always has. Um, there's this really cool, uh, stable out here, man, this barn that's, that's been out here and, uh, thought this would be a good spot for, um, our, our talk on, on drumsticks and dishwashers. And so, uh, something happened yesterday that made me, um, get this idea so right now we're all basically hunkered down we're having to stay at home and um i think there's a really big risk here um if, if we don't address it and we don't talk about it and i think uh, that risk is uh in this moment of isolation i think that that's a that's a risk that we could get into that habit um you know when when we're forced to disconnect so to speak when we're forced to isolate um, i think there's a real temptation there to get into this habit of um staying isolated and hunkered down and and i believe that god wired us up for relationships god wired us up for connection uh that's why you feel better uh when you're with people and, and with people that you love and and uh you know people that you appreciate uh god just wired us up that way man god uh, one of the first things in, in the book of your bible god said it's not good for man to be alone uh and so we were wired up uh for connection we were wired up for relationships and when you take that away, when you strip that away, I mean, there's only so much connection that you can get um, through platforms like this. But uh, man, when you when you strip that away, when you take that away, I think there's a there's a, a risk there of of getting into that isolation. And um, man, we don't want that. We don't want this to be something that uh, you know keeps us uh, apart. We don't want this to be something where we get into this habit of okay, well. You know, I went two weeks or three weeks or however long this thing's gonna last, and, and didn't really connect with people, and so I'm I'm good, and, and I don't need it now. Like, man, uh, during this time, man, it's it's really um, showing me and, and revealing to me how much I appreciate people in my life, and so um, I wanted to just give a quick shout out to somebody. Um, so yesterday, uh, you know, we we moved into this house, and and uh, the, the house didn't have a dishwasher in it before, and so we're in the process of getting a dishwasher um in and, and hooked up and all that well since there wasn't a dishwasher there before there's no uh there's no spot to to plug it in there's no electric um in in the kitchen in that area and if you guys have heard my dryer story you know that uh well that didn't turn out too well and so um i thought this time it'd probably be best for me to get professional help um since there's no even wires there we're gonna have to run new wiring um and so I just, I just was thinking about, man, like I'm very appreciative of, of people. And so I want to give a shout out to Jeff Thomas and the Thomas family, man, uh, called Jeff up and, and told him about our situation where we're trying to put this, this dishwasher in and there's no electric there. Um, and so man, Jeff came right out. He crawled under the house, you know, in the attic above the house and, and ran all new wiring, ran, ran electric to where now we're able to hook up a dishwasher. And so, um, it just got me thinking how, like how appreciative I am of that. And, and so many times, um, I think stuff like that goes unnoticed and, and, and we're really quick to, uh, especially moments where we're forced to kind of isolate. Um, man, we can kind of get in that, that moment of, of we, we forget about how much people mean to us and things like that. And so just wanted to give a shout out to Jeff and the Thomas family. Um, man, I'm super appreciative of them, but man, there's so many people that I'm appreciative in my life and, and that I'm missing right now, man, I'm missing, um, you know, our students and, um, man, I'm grateful right now for our teachers. We're trying to homeschool our kids. And so it just makes me more appreciative of our teachers, um, man, missing the, the staff that I get to work with. And, um, you know, obviously we're able to connect through email and other things like that, but, um, man, just miss knowing that they're in the, the building right next door, you know, it's, it's just a cool thing. And so, uh, just wanted to take a second and, 
and uh, and throw that thought out to you guys in this little mini series, man. Who are the people that you're appreciative of? And I would challenge you today, man. Imagine how good it would feel if today randomly somebody was like, you know, they sent you a text or a comment and just told you, hey, I appreciate you. Um, you, you mean a lot to me or, or, or man, I just really miss you right now or whatever. Like that, that would just make your day. And so, man, I want to challenge you to start that. Um, who's somebody in your life that you appreciate, that they mean the world to you, that um, maybe you're not able to see face to face right now and you're having to connect by, by other means. And so, um, man, who is it that, that you value and appreciate? Uh, man, make their day. You start that trend, man. Let somebody know how much you appreciate them. Just drop them a quick text or, you know, whatever, man. Post them a comment, something like that. Let them know how much you appreciate them. Um, like I said, thankful for uh, Jeff Thomas and hooking up our dishwasher. You guys need to stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow, we'll talk about drumsticks. Uh, looking forward to that. We'll see you later.